This is where the TV currently is. And this is where I want it. So here are my thoughts. Got a beam here, wall, beam, banister, and empty space in here. The TV is currently leaning. Current. Current. Here, leaning up against the banister. Can't really see it. I want to put it here. TV proposed. Ding. So we'll need attachments to this here. Maybe some pulleys. This is a pulley. Something here. Something here. A rope. Like that. Tie it into the existing mount on the back of the TV. Hope it doesn't tilt too much. And then this, I don't have to do anymore. I need to figure out where the center point is. Uh, this is a window. Yes, it's a window. This is a bed. And some pillows. Little 3D action. Slow brain action. The distance uh, from the wall over here to the center of the window is about 81 inches. This here. The TV is approximately 57 inches wide. It has mounting brackets on the back. They're about eight inches away from the center, either direction. So I need to mark 81 inches from the wall and eight inches on both sides from that. Bam. At this point, I feel like it is important to tell you that I am 6'2" and I can barely reach this beam. I want to mark 81 inches so that I know where the center of the window and the bed are going to be. That way I can measure out 8 inches on either side. Now I can measure 8 inches on each side of the center point, approximately. So I can mark the drill holes for these mounts. I'll drill these bad boys out. Adding these onto the beam just to make sure that they're straight and they look nice. Sweet. Now I can take them down and start to paint. So excited. Alright, let's measure some rope. I'm thinking I will do about 24 feet, so six sections. And that should give me 24 feet.
Now I just need to figure out how to loop these through. Seem to have got it. These kind of go like this. I heard that the loop goes on the loose end. Just hearsay, I suppose. Now this part was actually pretty hard to get on. There wasn't a lot of room for me to get the bolts. on and then I will make it twice now we just need to reattach the mounts uh, once again balancing this time I found some yoga blocks to stand on give me a little a little extra We've got all this stuff painted. It's about time to feed the ropes through the pulleys, uh, attach these O-rings, and then I can mount them to the beam mounts that I already have up. Uh, unfortunately, this didn't exactly go as planned, but we made it work. I'm attaching this uh, O-ring right here, and Unfortunately, very, very, unfortunately, doesn't fit. Anyway, for some reason, I don't, I don't know if I'm in shock or or what, but apparently, I'm gonna try it one more time. We're just gonna drill the inside of these bad boys out. It's not great for the bit, but it's what I have available, and the garage is very far away. I went through and tightened all of these with a ratchet instead of uh, needle nose pliers. I think a few of you will think back to that picture I drew you guys and say, hey, wasn't there a TV really close to where you're painting? And you would be right. This is exactly what's below me. And yes, I spent a long time cleaning paint off the TV. Nailed it. We're doing some final touch-ups before we hang this to the TV. I've got to attach the final mounting bolt. This is what the ropes will attach themselves to to keep the TV from falling. Instead of showing you guys the struggle of us hoisting the TV up and trying to ratchet these ropes and tie downs, we just skip to the end. You, you don't need to see it, it's okay. This is it. This is how it turned out. We're pretty happy with it. I got the thumbs up. That's a win.